Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to Beit al uh, This is Sayyid Ali here uh, Today we have a very special guest with us uh, For those of you who are not aware Today we have brother Rafael Fiziev here Did I say your name right? Because I know some people pronounce your name incorrectly Yes, yes brother it's Alhamdulillah, all right. Alhamdulillah. Alaikum, So it's, um, it's been a, a little while now We've been, in, uh, we've been speaking back and forth uh, I actually reached out to some brothers from Russia some mutual friends and uh, they contacted him and uh, alhamdulillah brother rafael contacted me back so today i'd like to do an interview with brother rafael uh, what makes this interview slightly different is I, I want to ask some personal questions questions not related to fights because we don't know much about you in the uk you have a huge fan base uh, who would like to get to know you as well and i'm sure they have loads of questions so maybe in the future perhaps we can even do this live i want to get straight to the questions because i know you're extremely busy and i appreciate you taking your time out uh, for this interview as well my first question i'd like to ask you brother is regarding your background tell us a little bit about yourself uh, where your family originally from where your parents are from yeah so brother uh, uh my family is uh my whole family is like i'm an original i'm azerbaijan i'm azerbaijan and uh my all my family my my roots it's from azerbaijan right and um, that's why i'm shia alhamdulillah that's why i'm shia alhamdulillah yeah and uh my mother she 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 is a russian she is a russian and uh and uh she she also she she's she's roots from uh from russia yeah and uh, but i'm born in kazakhstan i'm born in kazakhstan and i live in kyrgyzstan it's like it's like big story you know <laughs> because i'm born in one country live in another country so you have uh, dual, dual nationality i take it yeah and uh, not 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 like no, i not live in original country not like in original nationality you know because it's different country sure and uh, and yeah yeah so I have, present uh, are you living in thailand now yeah now now right. i live in thailand but it's i live in thailand just because of uh, because of work because of training and uh, all this stuff because of fights and my career but my 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 family he live in a, in a kyrgyzstan i heard i don't know how true this is but apparently you your father gifted you some boxing gloves and this is how you kind of first got introduced to you could say fighting at a very young age is that right did your father give you some uh, boxing gloves and apparently you were not a big fan of fighting yeah he present me he make me gift for boxing gloves good 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 boxing gloves nice boxing gloves but i don't like yeah i don't like boxing when i when i was young when i was kid because uh because uh, my father he's uh he's really fun he's fun of sport fan of uh, of a fighting right and uh, and he tried to make some championship with my brothers and because he have uh, my father he have a big family he have uh, nine kids and family you know and uh, uh, that's why i have a lot of brothers and my my father take a lot, take take a brothers like same same age same age right yeah and he make a championship like first place he pay like 20 dollars <laughs> Second place he pay like ten dollar, and uh, last uh, third place he pay like five dollar, like this. You know? right. and my father make this championship, and I fight with brothers, and everyone, everyone, every time beat me, you know, and I'm lost every time, and that's why I don't, I don't like it when I was kid, when I was young. So, in terms of your siblings, your brothers and sisters, um, are you from a big family? Like, how many brothers and sisters have you got? Um, I not 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 too big family, but I have two young sisters. Mashallah. Two young sisters now, yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. I take it they're always watching your fights. Yes, she's she's uh, she's she's watching my fights and she last last fight. Uh, yeah, she she's together watching my fights and she when I when I win when I win by 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 knockout, and she start to cry together and I watch this video, you know. She started to cry. And, oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Growing up, what were you like going to school and college? Were you getting into a lot of fights? Yeah. When so, 
I born in a village. I born in a village, and when I twelve, when I'm eleven years old, we moved to the city, to the big city, for to capital city of Kyrgyzstan, right? And uh, Bishkek, and I go to school. I go to school, and the first day, like one guy, he beat me because I'm from the village. You know, I don't understand nothing. I did big city. You know, like I'm small kid who come to city, and I watch all this. You know. Like big houses, not like small, just one floor of houses. Like a lot right. of like, you know, and uh, like I'm, I feel like crazy. And one guy beat me. And next day I go to, I go to training. The ju just because because I. Oh, so like, you were bullied. You were bullied then. Uh, you you got bullied, and this kind of motivated you to get into MMA then. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So how many how many fights would you say you got? into between the ages of I don't, I don't know 15 to 21 oh 15 to 21 my first world championship is 2007 i i 14 years old 14 years old and uh yeah i fight brother i fight every week uh, because i have small country and uh i have small country and i, and I fight everywhere in in a, in a kickboxing in the pushu sanda in muay thai Thai boxing and hand-to-hand uh, -hand fighting, combat samba, like valetudo, MMA, everywhere where I can. Karate, taekwondo, everywhere. I fight everywhere. And, sure. Uh, and uh, yeah, from 15 to 21, I think, oh, minimum, minimum 150, 200 fights. <laughs> wow. <laughs> minimum. Wow. Because, because every week, every week, every weekend, you know. Wow, wow. So... Growing up, um, you know, your, your, your father gifted you with some boxing gloves. Um, you weren't really a big fan of fighting at a young age. And then you, you essentially, you were a victim of, you were victimized to some type of bullying, which motivated you into getting into MMA. Was there any MMA fighters that you used to look up to or, you know, you consider them real champions of, of the time? Yeah, I'm like... I watch when I when I watch first events in UFC first events like first second uh, when I was kid when I was kid is before before when we moved to city my father he worked in city and he come to village and he gave me like a video video disc like and uh, and they have a they have a three first UFC event is where Oleg Toktarov from Russia champion when we were away okay. When he went, when he took take a belt, and uh, Tank Abbott and uh, Hoist Gracie. Hoist Gracie, yeah. And yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I watched his first events, and I every time watch it like this, you know, wow. And my father, he explained me like, hey, you see, you see what what is this? I explained him, he said for me like, this is a warriors, this is a real warriors. He not scared nothing because this it's 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 not easy to train and go fight. And go and go fight like a, like a lion in a cage, you know. And um, uh, from from this time, I I I wanted, and uh, I start uh, I start I start to like dream, you know, in my head. Like I start think about it. Oh, I want I, I want to I want to stay famous. I want I want a glory. I want I want a glory, and I want to like people, when people respect me, you know, respect respect my power and all this stuff. Yeah, and then uh, from this, my my road, my way start. See, many people know you as a UFC fighter, but there are others who are not aware that you actually you you practically pursued pursued a course or career in um, as being a police officer. Is that true? Yeah, I'm police officer. I'm uh, I finished police academy. I stay in police academy five year and uh, five year I stay like like real policeman and I and uh, and I work and we work and we, a, a police officer you don't want to get into uh, I said a police officer you don't want to get into a fight with right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm also when I when I stay in police academy I I, I train and fight and st still you know I never stop I never stop mm. yeah but so how did you make that initial decision then? not to pursue a career in becoming a police officer or a permanent police officer. And, you know, 
alhamdulillah mashallah where you are now as a ufc fighter what you know what made you take that step uh because justice because justice because in my country no have justice unfortunately in, yeah in uh, because uh, i have uh, you see i have like european face i have uh, i have european face and i'm not asian guy and uh, not kyrgyz guy and in my country have a lot of nazis you know nazism if you if you're not kyrgyz guy if you're not Kyrgyz guy, you never you never go to career go your career and never go up. Okay, so there's a, there's discrimination then. There's discrimination yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I have a lot of fights in Polish Academy because discrimination, because Nazism. I, I yeah. understand that even your uh, family were they suffered some type of um, discrimination as well. Is that correct? Yeah. Are they still there or? Are, are then have you brought them over now to Thailand or anything? In this country, in Kyrgyzstan, from from where I am, uh, have a lot of discrimination. The discrimination from about Nazis, about Nazism, about religion, about a lot, a lot. It's, is there uh, is there a big Shia community out there? No, we not have big Shia community, but we ha we have a lot of Shia in Kyrgyzstan, right. and. Uh, and the head mufti from kyrgyzstan the head mufti he say he said like we need kick out shia from kyrgyzstan and he make and he make all this stuff now you know like he maybe he makes may start make it maybe five five years ago and uh head mufti guy you know he's a mufti and he talk uh, with a uh, with a uh, with the uh, people like this you know we need to kick out shia people from from kyrgyzstan shia people is not muslims he talked like that bro right and, uh, right this is uh, this is something crazy because because we so when you the... took your initial step into getting i want to come back to a previous question when you took your initial step into getting into mma were your family supportive of it like how did your parents um take that because you know a lot of the times as you understand you know people have you know parents have a certain dream where they want their children to be you know growing up to be doctors or pharmacists you know you've done something completely different were they supportive of your move into taking or pursuing a career into it, becoming an MMA fighter yeah my family he my family always with me and my family every time support me everywhere when I want to go to Polish Academy, my fam my family support me. Uh, when I when I want to start fighting, my family support me. When I want to go to Thailand and move to Thailand, start training, and make like make my career, my family support me also. Yeah, my family never say me no and uh, support every time. Like I never I never I never hear from my father or my mother something like oh you can't do this because we want like this you know. Yeah, if, if I make some bad, yeah, of course, my parents say like, hey, this is bad, you can't do this. But but in a life, like... My family do, you still, do, do you still regularly stay in contact with them despite being so far away? Yes, of course, every day. Every day we talk, every day in the video and mm. every day. Like, not, not, not one time a day. <laughs> Have they had the opportunity to fly over to see any of your fights? Um, my father, my father, he go with me one time. He go with me to fights. I tell, I bring him. I say, father, you want to go with me, like to my corner? And he said, oh, you want to take me corner? I said, yes. <laughs> and one time I bring him to stay corner, corner with me. Uh, yeah, and he's so happy. May Allah so bless happy. him. May Allah bless him. Give him a long life. <laughs> so, in terms of uh, MMA and the various arts that you've learned, like you know, you mentioned Vail Tudo right? Um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai. Um, as you're aware, you have all these different various MMA arts. Do you have like a, a preference? Because I notice in a lot of your fights, you enjoy striking a lot, right? So yeah, uh, I like I like stand up. Yeah, I'm like, I like stand up. And uh, I like fight and stand up in my with my hands and with my kids. Uh, because First one, why? Because I'm I'm Muay Thai fighter. I'm basic Muay Thai fighter, and then Muay Thai is my base. Uh, but but uh, I respect more 
uh, stand up game, respect more this because uh, because fans want more respected because uh, because fans more love it you know fans fans want uh, want uh, want to see how how people fight in the stand up and uh, and this is not boring when uh, when people make some fight in stand up and, uh, and have a damage and all this stuff yeah this is not sure. boring fight. sure so we noticed in many of your fights you always shout the slogans like ya allah ya muhammad ya ali how has religion motivated you in fights uh, I would say not only in fights, not only in fights. It's it's, it's all my life. Religion, it's more. It's all my life. It's all my life and every day. And if I if I go if I if I go, just go travel and I have flight tomorrow, I go pray and then ask my Allah and uh, and ask uh, and make tawassul from Ahlul Bayt. Mashallah. But, you know, make I I noticed you have a zulfkar around your neck. Um, and it has is that a stone that you have on it tell us about that is it stone it's 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 not stone it's uh it's just uh material from uh from from abal fazla basar mashallah from his, right from his from his grain great mashallah very lucky right and yeah and uh <clears throat> yeah religion with me everywhere not in, not only in fights but why I make this slow uh, like in uh, in after fight because uh, because uh, I see now like in my area in uh, in Kyrgyzstan we I have a lot of a lot of guys a lot of young a lot of young guys like 12 13 14 years old he he don't know a lot about about Shia about story about Islam story just know about it know about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam about Ali alayhi salam and uh, about Ahlul Bay. Uh, and uh, and I see I see now I see now have a lot of like young guys and you know, like these kids who who start to learn about it, who who start uh, who start who start read story and, and history, you know, about Islam. And I have uh, I have a lot of friends who who just who who just also, he start. He, he he told me. He told me like, hey, I have young brother. He he started to read the books just because of you, you know. And uh, mashallah. And, and yeah, I try. I try to make my make make uh, make some something with uh, with my fights. Like what? Uh, because fight is fight is not good, you know. It's uh, I I want to say true fights. It's not it's not good. It's not it's, it's not what it's not it's not what Ahmed Bayt teach us. But inshallah, when when time coming, I finish with this. But I'm here now, and I wanna I wanna help from this from this place. You know, some inshallah, help. you wanna try to you wanna help back the community. Inshallah yeah i try may allah reward you for that so recently you visited um you went and did ziyara um in iraq i think you went for arba'in was that the first time you went and what type of experience did you have visiting um the shrines of the members of the ahlul bayt al -Islam, and you know the, the, the supporters the allies how 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 was this for you i mean was this your first time and what type of experience did you have yes it's my first time it's my first time and uh, and uh, this is also my big dream it's my first dream in uh, in, in a life uh and uh, yeah i visit i visit this year uh, and i stay close with uh, with uh, with, uh, with uh, haram imam ali alayhi salam when I say close with Haram Imam Hussein and with Imam. Did you did you feel the energy there? Oh yeah, I feel it's amazing. It's, you can't describe it. Yeah, you can. I can't explain it because uh, I can't explain it. I stay like I'm. I stay like I'm in home. You know, like I'm stay with my. I don't know when I. It's it's like I'm born here and like I'm live here all my life. You know. This is the best feels. I like. 
I when when every day we go to the like I stay in Najaf three days, and uh, these three days like we go like we go make zerat maybe like five times a day, and uh, maybe more, and we stay in uh, we stay inside and we oh this is the best feels I I can't explain. Yeah. Was was there any shrines you felt more connected with? Like some people, they have, they they seem to have more connection going to certain shrines, like the shrine of Imam Musa Qasim alayhi salam, or you know the shrine of Abu Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. Was there any shrine that you felt more sort of connected to? Um, yeah, I go to uh, I go to I go to everywhere. I go to. I go to Najaf, Samarra. I go to like everywhere. I I I go to and uh, like everywhere. Everywhere have a different uh, energy. Have everywhere have different feels. Everywhere, like uh, mm. yeah, so. Inshallah, so next. Inshallah, next time we we'll, we we'll need to do a trip together. <laughs> So, do you have any plans to go to other shrines like uh, places at Ziara in Iran or Syria? Yes, of course, of course, of course. I want to visit like all. I want. I want to visit all. Uh, all. Uh, uh, all imams, alayhi salam, and uh, inshallah. And, uh, yeah, I want to visit all in Iran and in Syria also. Inshallah. Yeah. So before we finish off, um, I just wanted to say that is there any message that you have for your fan base, your Shia fan base in the West? Is there anything you'd like to say to them? Oh, what I can say, what I can say to my brothers and sisters. Yeah. I feel this energy from everyone from my last fight. I feel like, uh, like Shia world support me. And uh, this is the best support. This is the best support, and uh, of course, uh, I never forget in my dua about my brothers and sisters. And uh, yeah, my Allah bless all brothers and sisters, and uh, Ahlul Bayt bless, like like Ahlul Bayt bless, and not like we deserve it, like Ahlul Bayt bless uh, his Shias, you know. Not like we deserve it. And uh, I wish all the best. Follow Beit Al Gadir channel. My my brother say Said Ali, he make big he make he make he really make like big big work. So guys, um on that note, I appreciate uh, brother Raphael for taking his time out. In charge, this won't be the f the the only opportunity we'll have a sit down discussion with him. So inshallah in the future you'll come back at some point and then we can discuss some other issues. So, Brother Rafael, thank you again. Jazakallah, Heath. And inshallah, we're going to see you soon.